everyone, it's me, Jen, from I'm Just Like You, and today I want to share with you guys products that I regret buying. Oh my gosh, I am not a sucker for products because usually I keep the receipt, I try it out, I really try to make my decision, and then I just return it because I feel like I don't want to be a hoarder. I don't want to hoard a lot of things, even though if you were to go in my room, you probably think this girl has too much makeup, but I use them all and I'm not a hoarder with them. I definitely rationalize and think which one I should keep, which one I shouldn't. But these are products that either the time has passed or I just really wanted to like them so I tried it and you know what, it's too late, I can't return them anymore. But I still wanted to share with you guys these products just to kind of show you. Um, the first product is something that I thought I liked, which is going to be a lot of, throughout this whole video you're gonna hear that a lot. So the first one is the Pore Professional by Benefits. I thought I loved it. I put it in a couple of favorites and you know what? I realized it was something that was making me break out. It made me break out in inflammation, like literally red bumps, like had to be like 20, like those infl inflamed type of bumps, not like pimple bumps. And they were all over my pore area. And you know, I had it for such a long time now, like I really didn't think much about it. So I was like, you know what? Like, it's not this, you know, this is great. It made my foundation look good right on top of it. But the more I used it, the more the inflammation got worse. And then, you know, I said, let, let me just stop trying it. And I stopped using it and boom. It like went down and it was still there but after like different skincare and stuff it really just eliminated it and then I was like okay whatever you know it probably was my skincare so I went back I tried this again and it went it came back so I regret even trying this because it really made my skin really bad and it took me like a year for my skin to get back to normal without that inflammation all right so the next product is something that I saw on one of these Oh, what a, whose YouTube channel? House of Colors. She used this, her skin looked gorgeous. She said that this concealer does not crease. I was like, sold. You know, it doesn't look like it did crease. It looked amazing. And it's by RMS Beauty. And I got in the I got the I got the concealer. It's called the Uncover Up Concealer in number 22. And it comes in a pot like this. And you guys, it has that clay base that really helps the it helps make the concealer more opaque, but at the same time, it made my concealer crease. It was so drying underneath the eyes, and where I bought it, I couldn't return it, so I was like, uh, I'm stuck with it. So now I'm just gonna use it like underneath my brows, and on top of my brows to kind of just highlight the brow area, but under eyes, no, this is hor horrifying. It literally made my lines really accentuate, and the coverage has not been good. So I thought that because it was creamier and less coverage, it wouldn't crease, but it still did. So I don't know. Next are some eyeshadow stuff. So I bought these, I showed it in a haul video. It's the Wen Wild Color Icon Glitters. And I got them in like this gold color and this purpley and this iridescent. Ugh. But guess what, you guys? These are horrible. They didn't even stay on the lids. The particles are so big that literally when I blink, I could feel them in my crease area and then it would fall all over my face. And I don't even, like, one of my subscribers mentioned, like, I don't think that's even cosmetic grade. And I'm like, oh, what? Like, then why did they sell it in the cosmetic section? Uh, so, went and wild. This was a miss for me and you guys don't even try it, okay? All right, so the next eyeshadow product is something that I bought thinking it was gonna be amazing. And then I also bought one for you guys to do a giveaway and I ended up not giving it away because I literally hate it. Um, not hate it, that's kind of strong, but I don't find it to be worth a giveaway. Um, it's the Nudes by Maybelline. I liked it a lot for my eyebrows, but for eyeshadow, I felt like I couldn't use the whole palette because they weren't, they didn't stand out like you really needed a primer. It's honestly not worth the price in my opinion unless you like to wear eyeshadow every day and you just like a wash of color. But to really do like an intense look where I feel like it's 
presentable like even if I go at night like like let's say the look that I'm wearing today I could not create anything even similar to this in this palette I felt like the colors are not pigmented enough they're really great cool tone colors and to use as your like brow powder but I don't want a palette where I can only use it for my brows I want to be able to use all the eyeshadows for eyeshadow looks and I feel like this was a big miss for me so I honestly felt like I would return it um, next product is also from the drugstore and it's the Revlon um, Ultra HD Lip Lacquer and it's in the Smoky Topaz color. I absolutely love this color but the formula is so thick. Like I feel like it's so so thick. I literally when I go like this I can feel it kind of like like I can see the lipstick or the lip gloss sticking to each other so so thick and the applicator is a brush and it picks up so much of the product I wish it was a dome applicator that way it won't pick up as much but and also the brush is so hard to use like every time I stick it back in I have to be super careful because if not it's gonna look like a pineapple when I take it out it's gonna be super spiky and the brush would be ruined so the product itself is too thick the brush applicator is so a big miss they should have done a dome applicator to try to make this product work to kind of shear it out on the lips so overall this was a miss for me um, I would rather just use this with my fingers and try to just use it but too much work for a such a simple product next is another lip gloss and it's um, the makeup forever professional aqua rouge which is their waterproof liquid lipstick and I got it in the number 11 so I went to the counter to check out at Sephora and this girl was wearing it it was such a beautiful matte red color on her and I asked her what it was and she told me it was this so I was like sold let me just put it in the bag for me I didn't even try I came home and I was just like it is so hard to apply like you would apply it once and then when you're trying to apply the top layer and if you have to like breathe or like close your mouth and you accidentally transfer from the bottom to the top and then you apply some more on it will become brown and almost black like you can only wear this like one layer like you cannot wear at all if you're trying to blend it in and you accidentally get two layers on top of each other it's going to look ridiculous it dries super fast so you have to work super hard and you know what there's so many products out there that are so similar and it doesn't have to be that difficult so this was definitely a miss for me and I would not recommend this product not this color anyways I think if you got a pink or something it would be easier to work with but this was so hard like I felt like some areas were brown some areas were red and it just didn't look flattering so that was a miss next is another like higher end product and it's the Tom Ford concealer this is their um what is this called concealing pen and at first when I tried it it looked like the um, Maybelline instant age rewind applicator and I usually like that so I I was excited to try it out and Tom Ford of course never disappoints me but to be honest this one creased on me and it was pretty similar to the NARS radiant creamy concealer but for this one it didn't last like throughout the day I felt like the crease got worse and worse and worse so this was a miss and I got it from Saks so they don't have a Saks around me anymore so it's it's so hard for me to return it so I don't know I'll probably just use it as like concealer around the face or something but did not like it another high-end product oh this is so painful telling you guys about all these higher end products that I regret buying because that means I spent a lot of money on it um, next is one from Chanel and it's their bronze rose bronzing powder it's like a blush and bronzer and it looks like this this was from like their summer collection and you guys it's so powdery like as soon as I put any brush into it there's like powder on the table all over the compact it's ridiculous like I could never bring this anywhere it's so not compacted and I find that the color isn't as great either I find it to be very orangey and I don't know I just I never reach for it I never use it and I kind of want to just give it away like that I don't like it the next two products are powders now my boyfriend's probably gonna kill me because I bought these on Amazon I asked him to purchase them for me because he has Amazon Prime and he's like are you sure are you really gonna like these are you sure and I'm like yeah like all these youtubers use it I'm, they love it and I know I know I'm gonna love it you guys 
I don't. I tried. I really try to like it. One is the Ben uh, Benai uh, powder. This is the banana powder. I really wanted to like it, but it is so dark. Like it's supposed to be brightening. You know, Kim Kardashian uses it, but on me because of my complexion, which I didn't know, it really made it yellow and dark compared to the rest. Like once I set my concealer, it made my concealer look darker. So I don't like it, but I do use it in my kit just for those who are darker than me. If you are also the same color range as me, which is like NC30, and lighter definitely do not check this out i don't recommend it now the next powder product is by young blood and it's their high definition powder it's a hydrating mineral perfecting powder and a lot of youtubers told me that this does not look like powder and i'm like oh, a powder to set your makeup but it doesn't look like powder that is exactly what i'm looking for and i bought it i tried it and you guys it so much flashback like when you take a picture it's like white white i was like no I'd rather look powdery than to look like that. And it looks like this. It's young blood. You open it up. So the powder looks like that. And you got, I don't like it. Like it, I was like, ooh, I like it. And then I took some pictures with it and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. All right, so the last product is something I recently purchased and shared in my Sephora haul, and it is the Wen by Chaz Dean, and it's the Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. I bought it for my boyfriend, and I thought he was going to love it. He said it's fine. You know, he's like, whatever. It's a, it's a conditioner. He doesn't see the difference. And so then he moved back to Atlanta for school. And so he's like, you know what, why don't you use it? Like, I'm, I don't want to bring it back. And so I was like, okay. So I used it and I'm like, it's not that great. You guys, like everyone raves about it. Maybe I'm using it wrong. I don't know, but it honestly makes my hair flat. It's so cleansing that my hair is so flat afterwards and the conditioning part does not really condition like I feel like my hair is so dry still it doesn't really give me like a great conditioner I still like my um, macadamia nut oil conditioner deep conditioner much better so I don't see what's the whole hype about the smell is amazing and the tingling mint feeling you get in your hair or your scalp feels really great but overall I don't think it's that great so I won't repurchase this I'm going to try and just continue to use it but I don't see any benefits in making my skin silkier softer or more conditioned but um, at the same time it's supposed to make it look clean like it's supposed to not weigh down your hair but I feel like it kind of does so I don't know. Anyway, so basically these are all the products that I have been regretting that I bought and I wanted to share with you guys just in case you guys were wondering and you wanted to purchase them. Don't. All right, so I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.